Hi guys, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford in the WWL TV Pinpoint Forecast Center, getting you the very latest on what is going on in the tropics. We have had an area of low pressure in the Caribbean Sea that we've been tracking for days now. It was called Invest 91. Now, just within the past couple of minutes with the latest National Hurricane Center advisory at 4 p.m., notice that it has now been updated and upgraded to trop potential tropical uh, cyclone 14. So it is not a tropical depression or storm just yet, but it is right now a potential tropical system and we are expecting it to develop probably within the next day or two as it drifts to the north. I know that if you're in South Louisiana tracking this with me right now, all eyes are on Louisiana. You know, is it going to come here? Is it going to stay to our east? And we were saying earlier in the past couple of days and especially this morning that models were keeping the path of the system to the east of Louisiana due to a cold front coming in and kind of shoving it off away from South Louisiana and over to the east. And notice that with the National Hurricane Center's forecast path for this system, it is saying the same thing that we've been seeing with the models, with the center of the system probably staying out uh, somewhere over to the east of Louisiana. The exact location for a potential landfall is not certain at all right now. This track will still shift probably a little bit left and right in the coming days, but you can see what the general uh, idea is, that it will stay east of Louisiana with a landfall perhaps somewhere around the Florida Panhandle. So just getting you the latest computer models, these are 10 days going out in the future, and this is for or what is now potential tropical cyclone 14. And remember, just going back on what that is, that's new terminology within the past couple of years from the National Hurricane Center that designates an area that will probably develop soon and is close enough to land that they want to get uh, warnings out or watches eventually or kind of just give people along coastlines a heads up about what's going on with it. So they will designate it now as a potential tropical cyclone with the expectation that it will become a tropical cyclone, which would be a depression or a storm. So notice that the 10 day forecast computer models are in fairly good consensus right now. Remember, it is not a developed system, so it is very typical to see this spread of the model runs one over South Louisiana and uh, all the rest of these clustered mainly around maybe Destin, Florida, somewhere like that. A few of it a little farther off to the east over the extreme eastern part of the Gulf Coast um, and that part of the Florida Panhandle. But in any case, these are the 10 day forecast computer models and these will likely become more tightly clustered as the system strengthens a bit and um, as it continues off to the north into the Gulf of Mexico. Here are the latest stats on the system, by the way, if you're curious about that, what we're seeing is uh, right now it says 14. That's to designate its potential tropical cyclone 14. Winds are just at 30 miles per hour. We've been watching these showers and thunderstorms in this general area of the western part, a kind of extreme western portion of the Caribbean Sea. And right now it is moving northwest at six miles per hour and it is 175 miles south of Cozumel, Mexico. So getting into the models and again we've been saying uh, with these models you kind of just want to take them with a bit of a grain of salt at this point. It's not a developed system so it's not perfectly picking up on what's going to happen. But we have been seeing these trends continuing to show somewhat similar scenarios for what's going to happen. So you can see this low pressure area here. What when we do this, what we're looking at, let me kind of manipulate my uh, my little graphic here just for a second to show you what we're seeing. When you see this, um, the circle at the bottom of the image, and here we go, I've got my little pointer on here. When you see this, this is that low pressure area. So it's just kind of a big, broad area of low pressure. It's fairly messy right now in the Caribbean Sea. So as we go forward in time here, this is uh, through today, this would be into tonight tomorrow and you can see it's starting to spin a little bit. You can see that low pressure center, a little bit of heavy shower or storm action possible by that point. You can see that kind of outside of the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. And then this will take us into Monday afternoon. So this is the point at which the National Hurricane Center is agreeing with its forecast path that this will probably be a depression or maybe a tropical storm. It would be Michael by this point, Tropical Storm Michael in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Fast forward and we're going to go into Tuesday. This is Tuesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Notice by this point, and this is just one model, the Euro model, but it is showing that big area of low pressure 
here just south of the uh, South Louisiana area. But watch what happens when this low pressure area uh, may interact with this front that's going to be coming from the northwest. We'll go forward in time here into Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, and you can see the center with this system is over toward maybe Mobile or off toward um, possibly around Destin. And then this would be maybe that Wednesday morning uh, landfall situation that could perhaps be happening. It likely will not be set in stone like this um, exactly, but by Wednesday morning you can see where the center of that system may be off to the east and then heading into um, Wednesday evening, you can see that the center may by that point be farther inland with a weakened system. And then we'll just fast forward along here. You can see that we may have drier weather uh, and maybe even lower humidity and actually a little kind of barely sort of taste of fall as we head into the end of this week. You can see the drier conditions across Louisiana and even into Mississippi and Alabama by that point. So this is the uh, general setup that we're expecting at this point. Again, if you want to see and have just joined us, perhaps you want to see what's going on with that system. This is the National Hurricane Center forecast path. So just kind of taking it step by step really quickly. It is not developed yet. It's not a tropical depression, not a tropical storm. It's just still that same area of broad low pressure in the Caribbean, but the National Hurricane Center has now given it the title potential tropical cyclone because it looks like it will be developing within the next couple of days. So notice this would be very late Sunday night or early Monday. It may by that point just barely be beginning to take on, you know, a good uh, look of a tropical storm. 40 mile per hour winds possible by early Monday in the overnight hours. And then as we head into Monday afternoon, it may really just be emerging in the southern part of the Gulf by that point. Here's Tuesday afternoon and you can see winds by that point, maybe up to 65 miles per hour. As we always say, though, keep in mind the intensity forecast, how strong it is, is not as reliable as the path forecast. So the path forecast is usually uh, very accurate or fairly accurate. Um, especially the closer in time you get to a potential landfall. So as you can see, this would be by Wednesday afternoon. This still may be a tropical storm. The National Hurricane Center has it as a strong tropical storm, but again, it could be a little stronger than that or a little weaker by that point. And it has the center of the path, the forecast path right now, off to the east, or maybe around Destin, Florida, and then has it speeding up as we move into Thursday afternoon. It may be a low pressure area heading over toward the Carolinas. So notice that we are just barely in the extreme portion of southeast Louisiana uh, in the fringes of the cone of uncertainty right now. So what I would say for now is definitely continue to watch this. We will probably see the track shift a little bit back and forth um, in the coming days, just depending on what the models are picking up with, how they are looking. But right now it does look like the center would be off to the east. So what does that mean in terms of impacts for our area in South Louisiana. First of all, if you live along the coast and you get those sustained east southeast winds, you know that you can experience some minor coastal flooding. Uh, so we will probably see that maybe starting Monday into Tuesday, regardless of you know whether the system stays well to the east or not, we'll still probably get those sustained easterly winds that would push the waters up just a little bit. So expect maybe some coastal flood advisories coming perhaps from the National Hurricane Center uh, sometime in the early week time frame again Monday into Tuesday and then we also do have some slightly higher uh, rain chances the next couple of days about a 50% chance Monday and Tuesday but then as we went over it looks like we may then see that little front coming in to help to push this off to the northeast and also bringing our rain chances down in South Louisiana and bringing just some slightly drier air so that's really what we're expecting at this point could this still change yes it could we could see it shift back in fourth. Another look at those computer models for those of you who didn't see it earlier. I will show you very quickly. Notice that it looks like most of the models have it. You can see here fairly good consensus getting into Monday in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Fast forward into Wednesday and they do really most of them keep the area of low pressure. By that point it may be a depression or tropical storm. It looks like probably uh, they keep it off to the east of Louisiana. So as you know, when you get on with these tropical systems, the eastern side typically does have more rain, uh, more strong wind impacts and so forth. So this would actually place Louisiana on the drier side of the storm with fewer impacts and less intense impacts, even if this is just a tropical storm or depression. Uh, but it does look like it may be a tropical storm at this point, could perhaps even maybe be a category one hurricane. It's a little far out to say, but the National 
Hurricane Center forecast has it maybe a, a strong tropical storm or perhaps um, with winds of 70 miles per hour maybe around this uh, area before it makes landfall potentially by Wednesday morning, somewhere around the Florida Panhandle. So again, this could change a little bit, but this is the forecast from the National Hurricane Center for this area of low pressure, which again is not developed yet, but probably will be by Monday in the southern Gulf of Mexico. So that's what we know for now, guys. We'll have more coming up tonight on the Eyewitness News at 10 p.m. We'll have a detailed look at other models and uh, looking at, you know, what to expect impact wise. We'll have a detailed forecast for tomorrow, which looks like about a 30 percent rain chance chance and then higher chances slightly by Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week and uh, a lot more at a uh, look at that a much more detailed look. So we'll have that. We will also have much more um, updates coming out on our social media outlets and at WWLTV.com. For now, I'll leave you with that and uh, talk to you guys later. See you guys tonight at 10, hopefully.